Hi everyone, this is Jewel at Natural Refined. I'm here to give you that twist style I promised you in my last video, so let's get started. Now I'm spritzing my hair with water. I just want to make sure it's properly moisturized before I start doing anything to it. Next, I'm going to add my Curls Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. I love this leave-in conditioner. It smells like blueberries. It gives me that slip I need to be able to detangle my hair easily. Um, I do not use a dime size amount. Um, I don't know anyone who does with the amount of hair I have. But I always, I always want to make sure I coat my hair from the root all the way to the end. I want to make sure every part has that conditioner on it. Because dry hair leads to breakage. And you definitely don't want that. I'm just spritzing my hair with some more water. So I can move that product around and make sure every spot is moisturized. Next, I'm going to part my hair straight down the middle. I struggle with parting, so it takes me a little while to get it. But you want to make sure you have your straight part. This is going to make that style look really good. After you part your hair in two sections, you want to put the side that you're not going to be working with into a ponytail so that you can be able to move through the other side. Next, I'm going to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb. You want to start at the ends and then work your way to the root. It's going to hurt a lot less. You're going to be able to detangle a lot faster. Plus, you're not going to lose a lot of hair trying to detangle. If you have thicker hair, you might want to part it into smaller sections. This is going to help you to move through a lot faster. If you're having trouble getting through your hair, add a little more leave-in conditioner and it'll help that comb slip right through. Next, we're going to use our comb to make our part. You're going to start at the corner of your edge. It's going to help you with the uniformity of the look. You know that if you start at the corner on one side, then on the other side, you're going to start at the corner as well. So you just want to make a diagonal part straight to the back. You also want to make sure that part is straight. Then after you make your part, you want to pin up any hair that you have that you aren't going to be using when you start your twist down. Next, we're going to slick down our edges. So you're going to take your Eco Styler Gel along with any edge control. For this twist style, I'm using the Eaton Body Works Control Edge Glaze. It's the Coconut Shea Kind. And you want to work the Eco Styler into your hair. And then on top of the Eco Styler, you're going to put the edge control to kind of hold it in place. The key to having those slick edges is working the product into your hair while it's wet. Next, we're going to use our dimming brush to smooth out that hair. I always recommend a dimming brush. As you can see, it's just gliding through my hair and it's creating a bunch of curls. Now we're going to start our twist. I've slowed it down so that you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to take two pieces of hair and you're going to intertwine them with each other. As you go down, you're going to pick up little pieces of hair. Picking up little pieces of hair helps the twist to be more defined and it helps it to look a whole lot better. As you can see, I have a bunch of excess product on my hands. Um, don't worry about the product. Your hair is going to drink it up. It's not going to be that white residue in your hair, so just keep twisting. As I get to the end of my hair, I like to smooth out the hair again so I pick up that dimming brush and just brush through it a couple of times and as I get to the end I like to secure the twist by twirling the hair on my finger this is going to help it to stay and not unravel
Do not worry about shrinkage. Shrinkage is a good sign. It means your hair is properly moisturized. So don't worry about shrinkage. As you can see, I laid those edges back down and I started to feel myself a little bit. All right, and we're going to start on our next one. So we're going to start at a diagonal. If you part right in between, on a diagonal right in between that um, piece of hair that you left out, fix them apart a little bit. Make sure that's straight. So the key to the style is parting on the diagonal. It's going to give you that uniform look. So again, parting is not my strong suit, so it does take me a while, but I want to make sure my style looks good. Still working in that part. So again, you're going to pin up the hair that you're not working with. Some people are able to do their style with hair left out. I'm not. I grab other pieces of hair and then I won't have a part anymore so I have to pin up that hair. So you're going to add your Eco Styler Gel. Then on top of that Eco Styler Gel you want to add your edge control to help lay that down. I'm going to work that in. Then we're going to use a regular brush to help lay those down. Then we're going to use our dimming brush to smooth it out. Yeah, I really love this brush. Like, you see how easy it is? And it just makes my curls so defined. I also use this brush for my wash and goes. making sure that part is straight. All right, you're going to take two pieces of hair and start overlapping them, picking up those small pieces as you go. And as I get to the end, again, I'm going to smooth it out with my dimming brush again. Again, I'm going to smooth down those edges. I 
I don't have baby hair, so I don't know what I was doing. Two down. One more to go. So, if you got the hang of it, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So after I finish my twist, I'm going to place a rubber band at the end of the twist just to make sure that they don't unravel. So I take three of my twists, right at the end, well at the nape of my scalp, I'm going to put the rubber band on. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Next I'm going to use a hair tie to secure both of those together. Next I'm using some peppermint tea tree oil from Eden Body Works. This helps with your scalp. I know sometimes if I don't put oil on my scalp there are going to be flakes because my scalp is going to be dry. So this helps with hair growth. Now I'm using some Marley hair. This is the this costs like five dollars at your beauty supply store. Um, I didn't want a little ponytail, so I got some Marley hair. I'm just going to wrap that around your ponytail. And Marley, care, Marley hair is that hair that kind of secures itself, so I don't use anything to secure it. Next, I use a scarf to tie it up. This is going to make sure that your twists lay flat and your edges stay laid. Then I take it down and then you have your finished product. 